So it's kind of just having your phone be the centerpiece of your TV. And then that also transfer over to being the centerpiece of your car with this new car lock feature. So like your phone can be your car key and it uses NFC to kind of like securely do this, which I thought was also really interesting. But Darsh, it kind of brought me back to that conversation that we had with Jeon Jung on the podcast. Where it was like, what happens if your phone dies? Like what's the plan B here? Mm-hmm. I feel like if our phone becomes like the centerpiece of all these different things, we're screwed if the phone dies. Like there needs to be an, a backup. I and mean, I'm not sure if they're considering one, but it seems like there's not enough focus on that possibility. Oh, absolutely. Our smartphones are the center of our tech ecosystems. They're the center of our lives nowadays, but that can be a dangerous thing. And here's why. The start of it. Ecosystems could mean a lot of things. It could be our watches, our iPads, our smartphones, everything. But our smartphones are becoming more integrated into our daily lives. We can now unlock our smart home locks with our smartphones. We can now have our identification on our smartphones. We can now do so many more things with our smartphones that previously, even five years ago, we would never have expected to be able to do. We can pay for things with our smartphones. No longer do you need to worry about having a debit card on you to pay for things. It's becoming an issue. It's becoming an issue because we're so dependent on the smartphone. The smartphone can only do so much for you. If you get pulled over to the side of the road while you're using your smart identification, you can be um, charged for not having a license because you do not have it on your hand because it's on your smartphone and your smartphone's out of power. So it becomes the responsibility of you to be able to have your phone charged or have a charger on hand. What about your smart locks? If you have a smart lock, you cannot get into your house without a smartphone or the watch or whatever it is. But without a, the smartphone, you cannot do that. Your lights, unless you have the, unless you have a physical light switch or a smart assistant speaker, what if you don't have a smartphone? You cannot get access to your light switches. So when you have a smart bulbs, so the idea that you're not getting that. Uh, integration with your life can be frustrating sometimes you know everyone wants to lay some great tech but you have to think critically this is a dangerous thing to become so reliant on your smartphone that it becomes the centerpiece of our lives people spend more time on their phone nowadays than anything else throughout the day and it's because of this that smartphones are becoming an epidemic it's because of this that we're becoming so dependent on our smartphones for simple things like turning on the lights, opening door locks, etc, etc. So, think about that before you integrate your smartphone into your daily life on a deeper level. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Goodbye.